We on? Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please. Uh, another voicemail for, from my dad, who currently lives in the same block of flats as me. Uh, he's one upstairs. Um, above him, we've got Ted. Above him, we've got uh, a murderer who's currently on the run. And above him, we've got Alan, who you're going to learn about very soon. Uh, here's a little flavour of the uh, <laughs> the madness I'm currently living in. You have no new messages. Ian, by the way, is the landlord. Saved. For context. Alright, here we go. The next message is three minutes long. That's per. Mom, you know. Alan is a fucking nutcase. I couldn't get out this morning, took the dog out. It screwed the fucking door to the casing, the inner door. So I'm to ring him. He's a fucking out. What's he playing at? It's a fucking fire door, that. Right? He screwed the front door shut. Anything happens, you can't get out. I thought I couldn't get out. He had to come down with his screwdriver and tuck all the screws out. He's paranoid. What a fucking plonker. <laughs> Anyway, he's having a word with him. I'm not having this. Fucking can't get in, I can't get out. You know, it's not fucking out. Anyway. He's paranoid about the murderer coming back. Fucking hell. So he had the locks changed. And now he's screwed the door oh, shut. Man, yeah. Chucked out. What the? That movie. Fucking nightmare in this building. <laughs> and it's a nice sunny day to get his fucking ass up and get out. Fair enough. And um, give my best to uh, your mother and Moonface and little baby. <laughs> Don't buy a budgie, by the way, because they're a nightmare. My, my budgie, Joey. We all call Joey, are we? Why would I buy Put a budgie? Put my eye on the window once so and he flew around the room and he flew out and it never came back. So <laughs> I thought, I'm fucking hard for that because they're a pain in the ass. What you have to do, you put a tea towel over the cage at night. It keeps them quiet. But I don't like um, a bird in a cage, to be honest. You know, they should be flying about. You know, stuck in a bloody cage. Bloody cage. You know, anyway. Nicholas, bloody cage. That's me twittering on. Right, it's a nice day. get yourself out. And Alan is a nutter. Which fucking screws that door to that cage again. I'll tell you what, I'll have to get police down and get the door kicked in or whatever. Fucking not on that. It's a fucking fire door. You know, be off his head. I don't know if it's cannabis or whatever he's on. But I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it. So he's gonna have a word with him anyway, so I'll just see what happens. But I'm not having that again. Fucking can't get out in the morning and I'll set him take dog out. He screwed the door to the gate. What the fuck's up with him? Anyway, have a nice day. Adios, senor. Ciao. To replay the message, keep... So imagine that. <laughs> you got to get out your front door in the morning <laughs> and the neighbour has screwed the door shut. <laughs> the other week, he asked Ian, the landlord, to change the locks because he's scared of the uh, murderer coming back and murdering him. So you currently need three keys to get in the main door, as it is, and uh, apparently that's not enough for him. So he screwed it shut. How the hell's he even supposed to get out? I mean, he lives at the very, very top floor, so the only way he could get out would be to, I don't know, tie a load of bed sheets together and shimmy down the wall. Um, but, you know, it's a communal door. Other people live in this building. He screwed them all in. Anyway, that's that one. Uh, yeah. Nutters. Right. Adios, senor.